Hello and welcome to another new video of SAP App App. In this video, we will create a Z table which will be our customized table and we will follow all the steps which is needed for, create, for the creation of a customized table. Let's begin. First of all, we have to go to the transition SE11. SE11 and then here we have to go to we have to give the name of a table first just note that uh, for any customizing um, table which we must have to give uh, start the table name with a cap with a letter capital z or uh, y so here if i want to create a table of an employee we just write the name as C employee and then create and then click on the create button here it asking for the shown of the table just give it uh, employees information okay in the delivery class just give it always depend the and uh, the number of records and the type of the table uh, where the table will be used if you are using for any transition uh, data or any master data do just select the uh, the first one option a and you must have to uh, give it the display maintenance allowed because you will definitely populate some contents of it and when we go to the fields tab just first give to the amended which is a client field just click on the key field and secondly m b m p i t and here you have to define a uh, um, uh, to, you can also define a data element and uh, for the data element you will define a domain name so right now i am giving i am just using the predefined type of right in predefined type we have the option of uh, uh, data type and so 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 uh, we just uh, selecting here character and here i am giving the length of it 10 and then here writing the description of field employee id and just go to the another field that is employee name and me also i am giving its let uh, the character field it is and giving the 30 character for employee name employee name if you want uh, to um, to have a unique uh, unique records in this table do uh, do check and to make the employee ID field as a key field and uh, if you also want some other detail do create other fields like personal info like uh, contact in contact info like address and so on so i just uh, i just included the two fields here uh, just for understanding let's save it and then we don't want to transport it just click on the local object and then activate it for the activation just select the class master data and transfer table and for the size category you just select as for your needs i'm selecting here the one and now save again and then go back okay this is a warning uh, the warning message it's not a very important message so just 
there is a, a system showing the message object activated it means that our table has been activated so we have created our z table and uh, we have found and we have also activated it and found below the activated message from the system so in order to maintain uh, table entries into this table we, we must have to create its table maintenance generator we just have we must have to go to the menu utilities and then table maintenance generator just write the uh, authorization group as press f4 and then select uh, this one without authorization group and the function group to just copy the table name and enter the function group here click on the one step option create on the test create button so system is asking the number of screen you just have to give one as a number of screen and then press enter system asking for the package no i don't want to transport it we just click on the save button and save into the local z employees does not exist so so request completed without errors it's mean that table uh, our table is ready our z table is ready for the entries so now for the testing purpose we have to go to the transaction sm30 slash n sm30 we already have selected our z table name and then click on to the maintain button Here it is. We have find that two columns are appearing with a plus sign in order to uh, make it usable and uh, the proper name of a table of a column name. We just have to go to its layout. So go to the system, go to the status of the screen then click on the screen number and then click on the layout button it will redirect to the uh, layout of that screen here it is so just click the first column and uh, do change first the mode of a screen as change now you notice that the label of the screen has been changed to change text field so just click on the plus sign delete it and write here m p i t i t and again select that second field delete it employee name and then save button then activity button oh. going back to the full logic we have found that our object has been activated so going back We just have to come here again sm30 transaction and then go again to the maintain button here we have found that the label of the our columns of c table has been changed so now we can do entries in this table click on the new entries and then enter the 00001 
the Ahmad Ali and the second is 00002 and in the Omar okay okay just save the data if we come again if we go to the transition se 16 to explore the contents of the table just execute here it is we have found that we just the record we have just entered is been displaying in the uh, se 16 uh, table display option so hope you learn a lot how to create a z table and how to make it available for an entries and uh, if you like this video uh, do do click on the like button and do subscribe my channel for more inform informative videos of sap app till now thank you bye bye